Hi, Steve Stein here again from uh, Guitar Zoom, and I wanted to show you another tab app that works really, really well. And again, I've got a subscription to this, but I'm not sure if you need one or not to be able to use the app itself, but it's called Songster. And Songster is just a really awesome app for being able to find uh, songs in good tabs as well for songs that you like. Um, I do use Ultimate Guitar quite frequently, but sometimes I I just I double check the two of them to see if maybe I like a certain tab better from one uh, versus the other. Sometimes I won't be able to find something on Ultimate Guitar that I will be able to find on Songster. So let me show you the app here. So I'm going to click on this. Okay. So here's a bunch of things I've either searched for or they're... I, no, I wouldn't have searched for some of these. So these are just popular ones that pop up. So the first one on the list is Stairway to Heaven, which is what I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to click on this, and then boom, it pops up, and there's Stairway to Heaven. Okay? So again, you can favorite this if you want to, if it's something that you really like, okay? And you're going to be using a lot. Um, you can see it's got the tempo there. You know, it's you've, you've got a little tuner right there. So you can use for tuning your guitar. Um, yeah, I can allow it, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so you can actually tune your guitar right there as well, which is just really, really cool. Especially if you have a song maybe that's tuned down a half step or something like that, which is pretty neat. So you can see all the tab is written out here. Um, let me just do this quick here. Okay, I click on that little chord thing up there, and you'll see it gives me kind of a shortcut to what the chords of the song are. See how cool that is? So it's really neat because then you, if you just want the chords to it, you can click on that little thing in the upper right-hand corner there, and it gives you the, the chords for it. Now we're going to go back to the tab, though. So I tap it again. I go back out to the tablature. Now up on the top, you'll see it says Acoustic Guitar Steel, right? So that's the beginning of the song. But if I click on it, I can choose all these other parts to view. So let's say I want to view the... Um, the which isn't in the beginning of the song but let's say i choose the overdriven guitar here right now i'm not going to see anything at the beginning because there isn't an overdriven guitar in the beginning but if i scroll down further and keep going all of a sudden boom right there's my guitar solo right there so i can view all these different parts just by choosing there's a rhythm part that makes sense there it is Okay, so I can choose all these different guitar parts just by clicking on the top. What's awesome about that is it separates them all. So they're all individual tabs for each different guitar part or bass part or even drums. I mean, if you saw that down on the bottom here, I can go to drums, the John bottom part, and they're written on here. Okay, now it's, again, it's kind of, you have to be a drummer to sort of understand this, but they're converting the, the drum notation into a tablature form which for a drummer is, again, it's better than nothing because it's free, right? So again, there's all these different things. You can change the speed of the, the, the music that you're listening to. You can, you can loop a part. Um, you know, there's just a whole bunch of different things that you can do um, that's really beneficial for trying to learn how to play a song. And you can do it all from the, um, the simplicity of having your mobile device around you. So again, a wonderful app to be able to use for finding songs if you're not using Ultimate Guitar, you don't like Ultimate Guitar, or you just can't find it on Ultimate Guitar, I would strongly recommend having a look at Songster. Just a really, really cool app. So there you go.